Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Ria Study Circle. Before start the video, please do like, share and subscribe my channel and click the bell icon. Today I am going to explain about 8th class chapter number 10 in that exercise 10.4 first and second problem. Exercise 10.4 is about compound proportion. Let's see how to solve these problems. See the first problem. Rice costing 480 rupees is needed for 8 members for 20 days. What is the cost of rice required for 12 members for 15 days? So here if you see in previous problems we have only two quantities that is maybe rice and members or rice are days. But in this exercise we have all problems with three quantities. Let's see how to solve this problem. First of all we have to write three quantities like what the given cost of rice and members and also number of days. So let's write what they given in the problem. 480 cost of rice for 8 members for 20 days. Next one. R cost of rice we have to find out for 12 members for 15 days. First let us assume what we have to find that as x. Next write the ratio of these two terms that means. 480 is to x and 8 is to 12 and 20 is to 15. Now we have to do the cancellation to get the simpler form of this. 4 2 is a 8, 4 3 is a 12. So what is the simplest ratio of this? 2 is to 3. In this 5 4 is a 20, 5 3 is a 15. For this 4 is to 3. And here it is asked is 480 is to x. Next step we have to compare this cost of rice because we have to find the cost of rice so we have to compare this cost of rice with members and with the number of days first to compare with the members if you see members is increases from 8 members to 12 members so obviously the quantity of rice should be increased if more members are there more rice should require so quantity of rice increase means the cost of rice also increase so we can say here members increases, cost of rice increases. Both the quantity increases means this is in direct proportion. So what we can write? Cost of rice is directly proportional to members. So here what is the formula for direct proportion? x1 by y1 equal to x2 by y2. So we can solve this problem in another method also. So see, first rice cost. We have to write the ratio of this 480 is to x equal to it is in direct proportion so you can write as this ratio if it is inverse proportion you have to reverse the ratio that means reciprocal of the ratio so it is in direct proportion so members ratio is 2 is to 3 so if you have any doubt i am explaining in the formula wise see here what is the formula for direct proportion x1 by y1 equal to x2 by y2 so here let's take x terms as cost of rice y terms as members so x1 is 480 by y1 is 2 8 that means nothing but 2 equal to x2 is x by y2 is 12 that means 3. So if you interchange this x and 2 then you will get 480 by x equal to 2 by 3. So this you can write as 480 is to x equal to 2 is to 3 same like that we can write within one step. So let's take it as equation 1. Now we have to compare this cost of rice with number of days. If you see number of days is decreases from 20 days to 15 days. Days decreases means quantity of rice should be decreased. So cost of rice also will decrease. So if you see one quantity decreases with another quantity decreases. So this is in direct proportion. So we can write number of days decreases means rice cost also decreases. So we can say both the quantities are in direct proportion. So we can write rice cost is directly proportional to number of days. Like this we have to compare these two terms individually. So here rice cost is directly proportional to number of days. So same as it is we can write as above. Rice cost ratio is 480 to x equal to it is in direct proportion. So we can write as it is ratio. Number of days ratio is 4 is to 
3. Take it as equation 2. If you see from equation 1 and 2, both LHS are equal. That means 480 is to x. Only RHS are have difference 2 is to 3 and 4 is to 3. So we can write from equation 1 and 2. Let's find out the compound ratio of RHS. That is 480 is to x equal to. We have to write compound ratio of 2 is to 3 and 4 is to 3. Next step 480 is to x equal to 2 is to 3 is as 4 is to 3. So here is as is nothing but compound ratio is represented by is as symbol. So here is as means nothing but compound ratio of 2 is to 3 and 4 is to 3. So here how to do the compound ratio we are writing here. Compound ratio is the ratio of product of antecedents and product of consequence. Antecedents are nothing but first terms of the ratio that means 2 and 4 consequence means nothing but last term of the ratio that means 3 and 3 so next step is 480 is to x equal to product of antecedents so first two terms that means 2 into 4 is to ratio they given no ratio of product of antecedents and consequence so 2 into 4 is to 3 into 3. So here 480 is to x we can write as 480 by x equal to 2 4 is 8. Here is 2 we can write as by, by 3 3 is 9. So do the cross multiplication here. 480 into 9 equal to x into 8. This into 8 will come to left side will become divided by. So x equal to 480 into 9 by 8. We can cancel this in 8 table 8 ones are. 860 is a 480. So what is the remaining term? 60 into 9. So 69 is a 540. So what will be the answer? X equal to 540. What is the X? Cost of rice for 12 members for 15 days. So we can write the final statement here from the given problem. Cost of rice for 12 members for 15 days is 540 rupees. See the next problem. 10 men can lay a road of 75 kilometers long in 5 days. How many days can 15 men lay a road of 45 kilometers long? So here what they given 3 quantities men, uh, length of the road and days, number of days. So let's see how to solve this problem. First we have to write the quantities whatever given in the problem. So what are those? Men length of road and number of days so what the given in the problem 10 men can lay the road of 75 kilometers length within 5 days 10 men 75 kilometers 5 days next 15 men 45 kilometers length of road how many days they required to complete so here what you will do the first step first let us assume this whatever we have to find that as x so next one write the ratio of these two terms that is 10 is to 15 75 is to 45 5 is to x what we have to do next step we have to convert this ratio as simplest form. So 5 2 is a 10, 5 3 is a 15. So what is the simplest ratio of this? 2 is to 3. Here we can cancel this in 50 table. 15 5 is a 75, 15 3 is a 45. So what is the simplest ratio for this? 5 is to 3. Here this same as this we can write. 5 is to x. Now what we have to do? Whatever we want to find that quantity should compare with other two quantities so we have to compare this number of days with men and also we have to compare this number of days with length of road see here length of road is decreases from 75 kilometers to 45 kilometers so 
that means number of days also should decrease from 5 days to whatever it is so what we have to write here length of road is decreases means number of days also should decrease so if you see both the quantities is decreases so which proportion this is direct or inverse both quantities decreases so it is in direct proportion so what we can write length is directly proportional to number of days otherwise you can also write number of days is directly proportional to length of road whatever it is already i explained how to write the shortcut and how to write with the help of formula of direct proportion in the previous problem that is in first problem so here i am writing direct shortcut here number of days ratio is 5 to x equal to length ratio is 5 to 3 so it is in direct proportion so we can write as it is next one see here men is increases from 10 men to 15 men so if men are increases number of days should be decrease if more men are working the number of days to complete the work should be decrease so we can write men increase means number of days should decrease so if you see this is in which proportion one quantity increases another quantity decreases yes so it is in inverse proportion so we can write number of days is inversely proportional to men what we can write number of days is inversely proportional to men so here also we can write the direct shortcut that is 5 to x equal to inverse proportion so we have to write the reciprocal ratio 2 is to 3 we have to write 3 is to 2 if you have any doubt i will explain with the help of formula also see here inverse proportion means what is the formula x1 y1 equal to x2 y2 let's take here men as x terms and number of days as y terms so here x1 means 10 that means simplest form we are writing 2 into y1 is 5 days equal to x2 is 15 that means 3 into y2 is x so here if you see let's bring this x to left side to right side then you will get 5 by x equal to 3 by 2 that only i am writing here in the form of ratio 5 is to x equal to 3 is to 2 let's take it as equation 2 if you see from equation 1 and equation 2 we have to find compound ratio of 5 to 3 and 3 is to 2 so let's write the next step from equation 1 and 2 LHS are equal only so we have to write the same 5 is to x equal to RHS are different so we have to find out the compound ratio of 5 is to 3 and 3 is to 2 so how to find the compound ratio of two ratios I already explained in my previous problem that means first problem simple product of antecedents and product of consequent ratio we have to take for compound ratio next step is 5 is to x equal to 5 is to 3 is as 3 is to 2 here is as is nothing but compound ratio symbol so here 5 is to x equal to product of antecedents means 5 into 3 is to product of consequent means 3 into 2 5 is to x equal to 5 3 is a 15 is to 3 2 is a 6 now i am writing as by 5 to x is we can write as 5 by x equal to 15 x to x we can write as 15 by 6 let's do the cross multiplication for this 15 into x equal to 5 into 6 this into 15 will come to right side will become divided by 15 so x equal to 5 into 6 by 15 we can cancel this in 5 table 5 ones are 5 threes are 15 3 ones are 3 twos are 6 so x equal to what 2 what is x number of days so what is x here x equal to 2 days so we can write the final statement as 15 men can lay a road of 45 kilometers in 2 days so like this only we have to solve all problems of exercise 10.4 if you want shortcut method for these problems which is used for uh, bits and also for complete exams i will upload that shortcuts methods in my shorts so you can see in shorts the shortcut method which will done within one minute i hope this video is helpful for you if you have any doubts or if you want any problem with the solution comment below i will definitely explain in my next video if you are confused to get my videos then go to playlist in my channel i will upload all my videos playlist wise so you can easily find there 
Thank you for watching. Please support me by do like, share and subscribe and click the bell icon to get my latest updated videos when I post.